Hey, I'm Brett. As we all know, controlling both zoom and focus is a critical part of photography and filming. In this video, we're going to set up, use, and explore the focus motor for the Weevil Lab. Special thanks to Zune for sponsoring this video. Included with each creator and master package for the Weeble Lab is the zoom and focus motor. Setting it up is easy and it has some pretty cool features for using it too. Let's get started. Now before we mount the motor, if your camera lens rests too close to the quick release plate when it's mounted, we'll need to install the included base plate to raise the camera height. First, screw the base plate to the camera, then screw the quick release plate to the base plate. To make balancing the gimbal easier, place the plates towards the back. Now let's mount this motor. We're going to mount it to the 2-in-1 quick release plate right here in the front. You can place the motor on either the left or the right. If you have issues on one side, just try the other. Then clamp the rod to the bracket and the motor to the rod. Then attach the motor using the included screw. Here you can position the gear depending on whether you want to control zoom or focus. Then attach the rubber gear ring to the lens. Make sure it's straight and aligned too. Cool! Let's connect all the cables we're going to use in our setup. It's important to set everything up the way we want to use it. So first we'll make all of our cable connections and then we'll try rebalancing the Weeble. Now with the focus motor, the only difference in balancing this thing is the added weight. This added weight simply means that we might have to make some very small adjustments and we're going to have to recheck each access for perfect balance. The important thing is to take your time making these adjustments. If you guys need help learning how to balance your Weeble Lab, check out this video I made. Now let's power on the gimbal and get started. Now we can see right away that the focus motor is already working and it responds to turning the wheel. This is huge as we can now adjust zoom or focus on any lens we want. Now before we get to using this thing, we should first adjust our motor strength settings. With just my a6300 and 18-105 lens on the gimbal, I was safely using the low motor strength setting because I had everything so well balanced. But with the added weight of this setup, after testing it, it seems like medium is going to work best for me. Of course, this is all going to depend on how well you balance your gimbal. So again, take your time with it. Now that it's all hooked up, we can tailor some of the wheel settings to our liking. In the gimbal menu, go to the wheel option and press right. The first option is sensitivity. This adjusts how much the motor moves when you turn the wheel. If you want to zoom quickly, set it high. If you want accuracy for focus pulling, set it low. The second option, AB points, lets us program in custom hard stops. Set your points and once the motor reaches one of them, the motor won't move anymore, even if you keep spinning the wheel. Getting AB points set up is really quick. Start by selecting the AB points option. Here there are two options, max and light. The Weeble Lab can only use the max option. Light is for Crane 3 Lab owners. Select max. Setting it up right now, the point A will be further away from the motor and point B will be closer to the motor. If you find issues with this, try reversing the points so that B is furthest away. Simply turn the wheel until the motor is where you want it. Then select which point you're setting and press right to confirm. You'll need to set both A and B points before either of them work. Now for my zoom lens, I'm going to make the B point the widest and the A point telephoto. If you want to remove the hard stops or create new ones, just select clear and start over. Now we'll press left and go back to the first page. Under priority, we can turn the wheel off if we want to prevent any accidental changes. Selecting either handle or external currently has no effect. Going back, we can see the last menu option is to reverse the direction the motor moves in when we turn the wheel. And that's not all for the focus motor either. We can also control the focus motor inside of the ZY Play app, and there's a few advantages to doing it this way too. Once connected in the app, select this circular gear icon. 
we will bring up on-screen controls for the motor. We can control both the direction it's moving in and the speed of the movement. What's neat about controlling the motor this way is that you can hold down the control and get to where you want in a smooth motion, whereas with the wheel, it may take a few turns. Even better, the app will still respect your A and B hard stops, so once it reaches them, it won't move anymore. Being able to control the motor through the app is great. That makes the Weeble Lab a pretty good tripod companion too. You can use it for remotely viewing your footage, reframing your shots using zoom, or you can do remote focus pulls. Pretty cool stuff. And that's it for me today. If you guys have any questions or you just want to say hi, <laughs> let me know down below. And brownie points for smashing that like button. Don't forget to subscribe too because we have a few really awesome videos coming up on filming with the different modes with the Weibo Lab and we're going to dive in depth with the ZY Play app. You don't want to miss it. Until the next one. See ya.